Hey everybody, this is Mark McCray, and what I want to talk to you today is about the pain funnel. Now this is a tool, this is a way of looking at the world that will apply whether you're talking about relationships and dating, whether you're talking about banking, whether you're talking about real estate sales, auto sales, ministry. It's a way of looking at the world that will really help you in no matter what role you're playing. Now, people don't burn out from hard work. People burn out or feel burnt out from doing unfruitful work. And so the pain funnel is a way to help you manage your workload, manage your emotions, and manage your flow so that you don't end up in that sort of situation and so that you can actually make more money, be more respected, and save more time. So let's talk about the pain funnel. Here's the pain funnel. The first thing is you got to realize that all people in the world are not your prospects. They are not your customers. So what we want to do is we want to talk about how to move people through what I call the pain funnel into becoming your prospects or your customers. So the first thing we have to realize is that all people go into the funnel, but not everybody's going to come through the end. What's the first qualification that people have to meet? Well, if you're going to serve people, the first people that you want to serve are people that have a pain. Now, when I say have a pain, what that means is simply this. If you're selling homes, you want to make sure that you're dealing with someone that's at least looking for a home. If you're doing a refinance of mortgages, you want to make sure that you've got someone who has a mortgage. If we're talking about ministry, say evangelism, you want to make sure you're dealing with people that actually have a need for what you have to offer. So they have to have a pain. Now the second thing is that they have to be aware of that pain. So let's, let's write that up there. They have to be aware of their pain, which is to say simply this. If people have a pain and are not aware of their pain, you're still not going to be able to serve them. So those are the pe that's the second level of the funnel. Now here's where it really gets tricky. Number one, not only do they have to have a pain, and number two, be aware of the pain, but they have to have a, they have to want to do something about their pain. Now we've all been there. We all know a number of people. Let's talk about life insurance. We know people who have families, have children, maybe have a questionable income future or questionable health, so they have a pain. They may even be aware of that pain, but how many of us have come across people that simply don't want to do anything about their pain? Now, the sad reality is it doesn't matter how much they're hurting, how much they're aware that they're hurting. If they don't want to do anything about it, then you're still not going to be able to help them. Now, here's the final thing. They have to have a pain, be aware of the pain, want to do something about the pain, and then they have to have the ability to do something about their pain. So, this is often the difference between a hobbyist and being an entrepreneur. Because as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, even as a successful evangelist, even if you're out there in the dating scene, just because you have everything that people want, doesn't mean that they're going to be able to do anything about those things that you can provide. So, in the case of, say, life insurance, if they can't meet the premium per monthly, uh, the monthly requ required premium, you're not going to be able to help them. You're just not going to be able to. Now, what you want to do is you want to treat them with respect. As a side note, you want to treat people with respect. You want to say, ma'am, sir, uh, you know, here's my phone number, here's my email address, and as a matter of fact, let me have yours as well so that I can get back in contact with you. But the bottom line is they cannot be helped by you at this moment. If you treat them with respect, then they will be able to come back to you when they are better able to do so. So it's really important that you don't just say, hey, I'm sorry, you can't pay the price for this boat or for this car at home, so too bad, so sad, I'll see you later. Treat them with respect, and they're much more likely to come back once they're able to meet this fourth requirement. So that's the pain funnel. People have a pain, they're aware of the pain, they want to do something about their pain, and they're able to do something about the pain. And when people meet those requirements, then they're much more likely to become your customers because they are, in fact, your prospects. That's the pain funnel. I hope you learned something from this lesson. Thanks.